Hey boys, how are we all going today? So today is the third and final episode to the LSD saga. Now in the first episode, I um, introduced this $35 LSD to you guys. Also showed you how to fit it up into the center of the diff, um, which sits in between these spider gears here. When you pull the pins out, springs apart, gives you a bit of friction there on the gears, and then you result in having a very, very cheap and basic LSD. But it actually does work. It actually pulls a two wheel burnout. <laughs> Um, I've put nearly 10,000 kilometers on the car now. The only, th it, it still does work. The only things that's going wrong with it is when it's sitting there at idle, it sits there and rattles pretty bad. And the other thing now, it started to fall out of gear a couple of months ago in fifth gear. Sometimes it would fall out. And now if I put it into fifth gear and let go of it and just move the throttle or pretty much just let go of the, the gear shifter, it'll fall straight out of fifth gear. So I'm constantly having to hold it in fifth gear or put it into fourth and it's giving me the shits now and it's time to pull the gearbox out. It just sort of slips out. I'm gonna do a time lapse of this just so it happens really quickly. We'll rip all the box out, pull it all apart and see what it looks like inside. So 
we've got the gearbox apart and at first glance you can see it's very very black um, very very dirty inside here now when I originally pulled the gearbox apart about 10,000 k's ago this was immaculate and nice and clean in here and it's absolutely disgusting probably due to the lack of oil that was in there from that leaking drive shaft seal now it was leaking pretty much straight away as soon as I assembled this gearbox and it was leaking out of the drive shaft seal I didn't bother changing it because due to the noises that this was making um, rattling at idle and just the nature of it being $35 I really didn't think it was going to last long so I didn't bother checking the oil level but 12 months later and almost 10,000 k's the gearbox was still working fine but just dropping out of fifth gear so if we have a look in there you probably can't see it with the camera in between the spider gear here and the LSD plate it is worn quite heavily so we need to go ahead now and put the grenade pins back in there and pull this center out and have a look There we go, that's one side. Mm -mm. Now at first glance it does look pretty bad. We'll go ahead and give it a quick wipe just to get all this um, crud off it. Now I can feel that with my nail, it just feels like a worn flywheel on a car. A bit of um, a bit of high spots and low spots there. Well there's a big lip on that. Overall I'm um, pretty impressed that this was worn down a lot more than it is. Now a couple of people were saying that the reason these fail is the, the center actually gets so hot from everything rubbing on it that it actually ruins the tension on the springs. So we'll pull this one apart now and we'll sit it beside a brand new one and see if the spring tension's changed. So if we get these plates and sit them side by side, the heights are pretty much identical. So I reckon the springs are still gonna be okay. Well guys, overall for 35 bucks, this is a pretty awesome unit, did its job. We got two wheel burnouts, we got extra traction, and it's a lot, lot cheaper than buying the, you know, the name brand units that can be upwards of 1500 bucks. Would I use one of these again? Definitely. Um, we can see we've lost a bit of metal there off the side of the plate, but inside the gearbox we've got a factory magnet here. It seems to have caught all of the excess metal there. Um, apart from my lack of maintenance and the gearbox being low and all, I think there was about 100 mils in there. That's the reason that fifth gear is flogged out. We'll have a quick look at the synchro ring here, and you can see, you know, all those shiny spots there is where it's worn down. Um, same as the synchro itself. So fifth gear is just going to keep falling out. You can just change the synchro and the ring if you wanted to. I've already put another stock gearbox back in the car just so we could completely strip this one down and have a have a good look at it but otherwise guys this is the end to um, the third episode in the series of the cheap LSD gearbox um, if you have any questions or want to ask anything just pop them in the comments below I'll also put a couple of the links to episode one and two of this saga if you want to check them out um, if you're interested to put one in your car um, highly recommend have a look at those all right guys we'll see you guys in the next one